All right. This is a uh, Mata Mata, five years old, been a patient for a while now. Um, actually was brought in for a minor little lesion way back here. And if I touch it, you'll see where he gets a little upset and wants to scoot his butt. Oh, dude, get, can I, uh, this is, no, it's a, uh, oh, I don't know you that well. Get off my butt. <laughs> it's a terrible job. Anyway, <laughs> that's laughing in the background. These guys, of all the turtle species on the planet, are probably one of the most unique. Um, I did a video yesterday where I said this is probably the most beautiful species of turtle. When I was talking about the redfoots, but when I talk, when I think about something that's truly unique and fits a certain niche in the world, I would say you're looking at one of the coolest turtles on the planet. Then there's side necks and stuff, but that's his head. You can see his nose, tiny little eyes about there and there. All this is really fleshy and meant to feel like leaves. And no squishy nose, dude. But they're meant to hide in the uh, the leaves and detritus in the water. And as a fish swims by, that face can open up like you would never believe. Let's see if we get a close up. Close up of face. You can see his eye. There's his ear. We've actually done surgery on those before. And they actually appeal pretty well. Good knee. Now you're looking straight down his beak. Wait, I think I see a booger. <laughs> yeah, I get paid for this. All right. Um, other than that, we have a perfectly normal looking shell. No signs of fungal rot, no problems. The underside is uh, almost identical. A lot lighter colored, but still very, very healthy. And uh, we're gonna, during his fecal, we found some parasites. And I got little videos of those, so I guess I can like tack that onto the end of these for, before I post this wherever I'm going to post it. But uh, anyway, for now, that's what we got. I'm going to treat him with some dewormer, treat him with some topical for his little butt lesion, and this guy probably will live a long, healthy life. And there's a very large strong jaw. That guy's probably several, about a millimeter, millimeter and a half long. Very cool. Ooh, it's ugly. Looks like a worm. Yeah, it's very scientific. Ugh it. Ugh it worm. Alright, just to let you know that you can find all the strange things inside here, what you're looking at right there is a coke pod. A coke pod pod. Coke pod. Anyway, um, to show you, let, let us know that this is actually a sample from free water. Uh, we just basically pick the poop up off the bottom, and since this guy does live in the water, you're probably going to find these in there. Notice if you get a good look at this, you can actually see his two two sides of shell um, and his little uh, sedentary sticker piece there. Anyway, um, so he's uh, no longer free living, but uh, very cool. Just thought I would share that with you. You can see a strong child there moving at about three o'clock, soon to be dead center, right there. Ooh yeah, very cool. I'll keep looking. See what else you can find on this fecal sample. There's a good video. No, I haven't had a chance to get a slide yet. There's a good video right there of another strong child. And you can see him moving around there. Anyway, this is for the Mata Mata. Reptile fecal. Take out the bottom of a tank. Oh, you dody. Isn't that cool? Rawr, it's moving around. That could be in your colon. This is a strong jowl egg from a Mata Mata. Found on a physical exam. Not mine and mine, but Mata Mata. <laughs> yes, I am. That strong jowl egg, you can actually see the live strong jowl inside of it moving around. It's kind of moving slowly, so you have to concentrate on it. I hope this focuses enough where you can see it. But other than that, never mind the, the banana gallery in the middle.